it's no exaggeration to say that the trash could literally start piling up on the streets of the capital city unless there's a backup plan in place. There's a consequential Supreme Court decision that could be coming down any day now in the long-running dispute between the mayor and the city council over that emergency contract with Richard's disposal. It's been almost a year now since Mayor Lamuma brought in Richard's disposal under an emergency contract to collect Jackson's trash. Most residents we spoke with say they're satisfied with the service. I have no problem. They picked up my trash on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Your trash is being picked up now, right? Not all the time, sometimes. We have to sit there and just let it sit there over two or three days as the roaches and rats and, and dogs are tearing up. The city council now taking action to make sure the trash won't start piling up and trigger concerns about public health. And this is, you know, an effort by the council to make sure that that we do have garbage pickup for long into the future. And we're taking legal actions to to uh, make make sure that happens. The council voting Tuesday to authorize its outside private attorneys to pursue legal action to make sure garbage collection won't be disrupted. Preparation. You know, like the Boy Scouts say, be prepared. And we're just trying to pre prepare for that. Trash pickup could soon be in limbo, though, unless the mayor and the city council can agree on a backup plan. Under a settlement agreement and a federal lawsuit, Richards filed against the city to get paid for previous trash pickup. The company would have to stop its service within a month if the Mississippi Supreme Court decides the mayor had no authority to initiate the emergency contract in the first place after the council vetoed that deal. And utilizing the court systems to verify that garbage will not be left on the streets in the city and any of these communities, wards, or districts. Now, one legal op option the council could have would be to go to a judge, file a lawsuit urging that judge to force the mayor to continue the, the contracting process known as RFP or request for proposal, again, to try to get a company in place just in case Richard's disposal is suddenly having to pull out because of that Supreme Court ruling. Tonight, we're live at City Hall, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.